Well, wow, it's so, I'm just like, I feel like I'm experiencing something new every time I bite a new piece. <laughs> What's up? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another video. And we're doing something that we've done once already, which is we sent each other a bunch of snacks and now we get to unbox a mystery box of snacks. I love snacks. Now, this isn't sponsored. We wish it was, but these are all yeah. from Natura Market. And so we will link all of the snacks in the description box below, but we're pretty much just gonna open these and taste some snacks as we go. And it's gonna be the best time ever. Yeah, we basically gave each other a budget, which was however much money to get free shipping. <laughs> Uh, and then we sent each other snacks. So we actually have like, because we also got a discount that we got like from, I just had a random discount from the company, a coupon. Because we had a discount, we ended up sending each other like $68 worth of snacks in order to qualify for free shipping. So there's a lot of snacks. Yeah. So Devin, do you want to go first? Like, do you want to alternate like we did last time? Yeah, but I went first last time, so you should go first oh, this time. Oh, I went, you went first last time? Okay. So I'm just gonna like, Okay, there's like stuff on top, so I'm just gonna like move the stuff. Ooh! Uh, my favorite kind of snacks, snacks that come in a bag. Oh. Um, they are the, I don't know how to pronounce this company. They're grain-free cinnamon chips. They're churro strips, and they're from Siete? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm gonna try it. Yes, please try. I hope they taste like churros. Oh my god, they're so cinnamony. <laughs> That's delicious. They're like, I, I guess they're churro. They're mainly just cinnamon, which is, I guess, what is on churros. But it's not. But like, it they're sweet delicious. Enough? What? Is it sweet enough? I don't think they're that sweet. Oh. But they're really good. Oh. If you crush them and put them on some popcorn too, oh, so good. Yes. Yeah, I like these a lot. Sweet. They're made with. Cassava flour, cassava flour, and other things, but like that's the main starch, oh. I guess. I, yeah, I didn't good. really know what I was sending you and just thought the flavor sounded fun. <laughs> I mean, the flavor did sound fun. That's kind of what I did too. I was like, I think Devin would like this flavor. <laughs> exactly. All right, Devin, you're up. Butternut squash pretzel sticks. Oh yeah, I was just really curious about them because I was like, wait, they're pretzels made of butternut squash? How is that possible? I'm pretty sure we've tried this company before too, right? Yeah, I think they had like vegan Cheez-Its or something like that that we wanted to try. Yeah. I don't know if they're, are they supposed to have a flavor? I don't really know. No, I think it's just squash. butternut squash. Do they taste different than regular pretzels? Yeah. Interesting. They almost have, is there? Mm. Okay, I was like, they kind of taste like if you made some kind of butternut squash soup that had cinnamon in it, you know? Huh. Because I can, I can taste cinnamon. So, like, would you put those on a soup? Crush them up? Oh, yeah. All right. Mm, they're really I think, tasty. I think you would really like these, too, actually. I mean, I think that's kind of what I did this time. I was like, yeah, I'll just buy this because it sounds really delicious to me. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, I'm pretty sure I sent you the exact one. <laughs> If I remember it correctly, I sent you these as well. Um, they're the Enjoy Life lentil chips, dill and sour cream flavor. Because like sour cream and onion is like the one thing that's still not really that around. Like it's hard to find a vegan sour cream and onion chip unless it's purposely made vegan and those are like impossible. Um, so I think I sent you these too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. They're very light on flavor. Oh no, you want them like drowning in it. They're good. The flavor's there. It's just a little too light for me. But I like oh. the chip texture a lot. Okay. They kind of taste like, do you remember shrimp chips? Yeah. They kind of taste like that. Oh, so they're like puffy, pillowy almost. Yeah. I like, like that. hard okay. and crunchy, but kind of airy. Yeah, yeah. They're good. I just wish they had more of the seasoning on it. Okay, okay. I will still eat this entire bag probably in one sitting. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm at another bag thing. Vegan cheddar cassava root chips. Which like I had to, they like cheddar, anything cheddar. Yeah, hello. I don't know. 
at first it's like, whoa, this tastes really um, artificial, like even a um, non-vegan artificial cheddar. Huh. But then as you eat it, it kind of mellows out with the chip. It kind of reminds me of like um, a box mac and cheese. Now question, would you buy it again? Yes, as long as it wasn't super expensive. Like I wouldn't pay a lot for this, but I would want to eat it again. Okay, cool. I think yeah. that's a yeah. good, like sometimes I think that's the best gauge, right? It's just, would I be willing to spend my own money on this? <laughs> Grain-free cassava. Wow, we sent a lot of cassava to each other. <laughs> Nova crisp, white cheddar. Oh, cheese. We oh, basically nice. sent each other very similar things. But they kind of look like, based on the bag, I'm gonna assume they're kind of like, what were those things? You like rice cakes with like, yeah. what are those? What's the company called? It's like crispy something. Yeah, but they're like mini rice cakes. Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like to me, but we will see. <laughs> the bag is very metallic looking, which I enjoy. I didn't know it was gonna look like that. <laughs> it's very like futuristic looking. <laughs> Yeah, they look exactly like those, like, whatever the little rice cracker chip things are. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah. You get the cheddar flavor right away. Would eat again. Delicious. <laughs> Would eat again. Oh, crunchy mango bites. I, I looked at these. I wanted to try these. I had to. It's mango. And, like, crunchy mango bites are so interesting sounding. <laughs> oh, they're so small. Like legit little like one bite pieces. Oh my god, yeah. they're so little. They're definitely crunchy. I can hear that. Mmm. But the mango flavor. Mmm. I feel like I'm eating like space food. <laughs> We're both eating very futuristic food right now. Mmm. <laughs> but the mango flavor is so, so good. I love this. Mm -hmm. It's like when you have like a dried mango and like the flavor is just so concentrated. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Would buy again. Yes. Oh, you also sent me that company from the ground up. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. More cheese flavored things. Cauliflower stalks. Cheddar flavor. They look like Cheetos, but it looks like they have a hole in the middle. Oh, the texture sounds like a Cheeto. They are very crunchy. I like the texture a lot. I don't really get cheddar flavor from them, though. Mm. I don't really know what flavor I get from them, <laughs> but I don't think it's cheddar. Is it Nucci? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there's whole grain brown rice flour in here. It definitely tastes like there's some sort of whole grain in here. I get that. Oh. It doesn't actually say there's like nutritional yeast in here at all. I don't know what they think they're adding cheesy flavor with. Weird. It just says like natural flavors. <laughs> we have found with their products that like some of the flavors are really good and some of them are just a total yeah. miss, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like the chip. I really like the texture and I like the shape, but I do not get cheddar from these. I do not get cheddar so, vibes. So would buy again or no? Probably not. Like, I like them. If they were, like, cheap and on sale, maybe. But, like, not for a cheddar flavor. Like, if I was craving something cheddar, I would not buy these. Okay. That makes sense. Oh. <laughs> I think I looked at these for you, too. Paleo puffs in the fiery flavor. Okay, I will say I've had paleo puffs before. They used to be at my office when we worked in office. I love paleo puffs. I have never had this flavor before, but I've had their like cheddar and I love it. Mmm. I don't, there's something about the texture of it that is just so good. It's like, it's denser than a, a Cheeto. Yeah. Che Cheeto. Oh, it's really spicy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's super spicy. <laughs> that builds. Like, the first bite, you're like, okay, okay, it's subtle. But then it's just getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> and, like, you haven't even finished one of them yet. What is good? Would buy again? Like, okay, granted, paleo puffs are expensive. I will say this. They're, they're an expensive snack. But if you can find them every once in a while, I think they are a worthy, worthy snack investment. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would buy again. The flavor, like, it's kind of subtle, but the heat is not subtle. <laughs> so that's like almost kind of like the perfect thing. Cause like when you buy something that says it's fiery and spicy, you want it to be spicy. Mm -hmm. Fancy popcorn. Maddie and May's fancy popcorn. Lemonberry cupcake flavor. 
What? <laughs> First of all, it looks expensive. Was it expensive? Oh, I don't know if it was more so than anything else. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh my God, it's pink. Oh my God, it smells so fruity. I don't know. If <laughs> it's adorable. Can you even see that it's pink? Kind of, yeah. It smells super fruity. Like the smell, it hits you in the face as soon as you open it. Also, it feels like, what else is on here? It almost like there's like a white chocolate, but there's not. I don't know what this is. Okay. But I'm going to try it. It's so different. It's very, it's interesting. It's like, I couldn't have a lot of this. Like, it's very indulgent. It has some sort of like sweet, it tastes like a white chocolate, but I don't know what in here would be that. <laughs> is it just like the cupcake flavor? Maybe. It's good. It tastes like a cupcake. I'm trying to figure out. So I think raspberry is the berry flavor I'm supposed to be tasting. I don't know if I taste raspberry. I do taste like fruit. Like it tastes fruity. I don't know if it specifically tastes raspberry, but like it's good. It's delicious. I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of what it is. Like it's popcorn. I can probably make yeah. it, but it's very interesting. It's worth a try at least once. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's cabbage chips, but they're dill pickle flavor. Oh my god, yeah. I saw these, and I was like, first of all, I don't know if these are Devin, but these are definitely me. <laughs> and I had to send them because I needed to know if they were good. Okay. Yep. Very, I smell dill right away. Ooh, that's a good sign. So good. Do they taste cabbage -y? It's just like, um, I guess you can taste that it's not a potato chip. <laughs> but you don't necessarily, you wouldn't be able to just identify that it was cabbage. No, I feel like I'm only trying to identify that because you told me it. Got it. The bag told me it. Yeah. <laughs> but very good. Do they taste still pickly? Yeah. I do feel like they could be more, I guess, vinegary. Okay. Yeah. That you would think a, a pickle would have, a yeah. dill pickle would have. But other than that, very good. Alrighty. Would you buy again? Yes. Alright. That's a good thing. Okay, so I got my Lesser Evil Puffs. <laughs> um, the V and Ranch, though. Very excited. Also, these ones have holes in them. <laughs> All of my stuff has holes in them. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it smells like ranch. I don't know what it smells like, but I'm not going to call that ranch. <laughs> Okay. They're also super weird looking. So weird. Stop focusing on my <laughs> face. They taste more like ranch than they smell. Okay. They're so interesting. They're kind of like a cheesy ranch almost. Oh, okay. I like it. Delicious. Would, okay. eat, would eat again. Would buy again every once in a while because I know the cost. <laughs> <laughs> Look at mine. Oh, the sour cream and onion. I see what you mean. Kind of subtle. But honestly, paired with the texture, these are going to be way too addicting. I'm going to eat the whole bag. Yeah, legit. Like, they're actually, like, they're a super addicting snack. The texture is, like, perfect for what they are. They just so need good. a little bit more flavor to be that, like, go-to sour cream and onion snack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would buy again? Yes. Karma Bites. Popped Lotus Seeds. Coconut and vanilla. Mmm. Whoa. The flavor is so vanilla-y. Not what I was expecting, even though I read the flavor. I don't know why I didn't expect them to taste like this, but they're good. Is it more vanilla than coconut? Yeah, I get more vanilla than coconut. Hmm. They're good. I don't know if I would buy them again, because they're, like, sweet, kind of. Like, maybe it's just because vanilla, you just associate with sweet, but they're good. I like them. I would add this, it would actually be a really good addition to, like, popcorn. You just throw it in with your popcorn. <laughs> That's what you seem to be saying about the sweet things. Like, just throw it in so we can have some sweet and salty popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What did I send you? Did I send you these too? Um, vegan ranch. Oh. Cracklings? Cracklins? Okay, first of all, the bag only goes to here. Come on, Beanfield. Wh where's the rest of them? 
disappointed. It's an interesting texture. Like I don't know like it's kind if they of... I don't know if they're supposed to like mimic like pork rinds. Oh. I could be wrong, but for some reason that was my like first instinct was, "Oh, they're trying to mimic pork rinds." But I could be completely wrong about that. I don't think they're the ranch that I was expecting, but I still like the flavor. Okay, that's good. I don't know if I would buy again just because like one, what is this? And they're probably expensive. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sold enough on the ranch flavor to be like, I need that. I can't get that anywhere else. Yeah, that's fair. But good for snacking now that you have it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, organic cauliflower bites buffalo ranch. Oh my goodness. This is so us. <laughs> they better be good. Okay. Is this the same company as the mango? Was it Rhythm? Yeah. Oh, okay, same company as the mango. Oh. Okay. Not a lot in here, but I imagine there's also not a lot in the mango. Hmm. They look like cauliflowers. Oh. The spice builds. Yeah. That tastes like buffalo ranch. And it tastes like cauliflower. It kind of just tastes like I'm eating a crunchy cauliflower wing. That's great. Yeah, these are delicious. I kind of wish they came in a bigger bag. Like, this is a really small snack. This is, like, single-serve snack. <laughs> and it's probably, like, Not $5. <laughs> yeah. These are good. I like these a lot. Sweet. They're also, like, the spice builds. <laughs> good. Would recommend. Bye. Oh, Vegan Rob's spinach puffs. Right, yeah. I remember us talking about Vegan Rob's last time. So I was like, I'll get her something from Vegan Rob's. <laughs> Again, so many things that are, like, Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> We had a theme, apparently. I mean, yeah, it just kind of tastes like I'm eating a spinach-flavored Cheeto. All right. Like, is it cheesy? Or is I it just spinach-flavored? So. Like, I don't like know if it's supposed to be spinach. cheesy, but... Yeah, no, I think it's just, like, salty spinach. Is it good, though? Mm-hmm. Because, like, salty spinach is good to eat. <laughs> yeah. Like, there is nutritional yeast in it and onion powder, but I feel like I'm getting probably the... Spinach, then the salt, then maybe the onion powder, and not really the nooch. Which is, like, great for you. Emmy's Organics Chocolate-Covered Coconut Cookies. Vanilla Bites. This kind of reminds me of when we did those white chocolate coconut macaroon cookie things, like, a few years mm. ago. Um, let's try them. I don't know if I sent you anything chocolate. <laughs> oh, the chocolate is melty. Mmm, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. They're really? In, they just taste like chocolate or uh, coconut macaroons with chocolate on them. They're delicious. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I, I mean, they're slipping out of my hand because the chocolate is melting so quickly, but. <laughs> they're yummy. There's something in the chocolate that I don't love. I don't know what the flavor is, but not enough to make me not eat them. <laughs> okay. I really like them. Delicious. This is like. Right up my alley with cookie snacks. So good. Yes. What is it? Oh, okay. It was... <laughs> <laughs> my snacks! <laughs> the best. Okay. I was hoping you would send me one of these. It's the toasted marshmallow nut pods. Almond and coconut creamer. Yeah, so like I saw that and I was like, this is Devin. It's not technically a snack. She can't really try it on the spot. But like, I feel like if I don't get her this, I'm a terrible friend. Yeah, I wanted to order them for myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited for you to try it. Maybe like post it on Instagram when you try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I already have a creamer open, so I shouldn't open this yet, but I will definitely report back. Like, there's actually a ton of the nut pod flavors that N Natura Market has. The marshmallow one stood out because it's marshmallow, because why would you not want marshmallow in your coffee or whatever you're putting it in? But there were a lot of other delicious sounding flavors, so. Mm -hmm. um, oh, right, my turn. So it's, oh my god, I'm falling. <laughs> <laughs> it's Zuby's Small Batch Organic Queso. Spice level low, which is fine because it's queso. Should I try this now? Do I have chips? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into oh, this. No. Devin, move on. I will try and open as you to get your next snack. Okay. 
Oh, you did send me chocolate. Oh my god, I did send you chocolate. I think what I was noticing was there wasn't enough variety. So I was like, I should just throw in chocolate. <laughs> um, coconut butter cups. Ooh. I didn't remember that I sent you that. <laughs> good? Oh, maybe not. It's good, but it might be too much coconut for me. Okay. So we found but the it's line. Very... It has a nice creaminess to it. How do people open this? I think anybody who likes coconut and dark chocolate would probably love this. Like, you'd probably love this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Probably. I did just eat something with coconut and dark chocolate and love it, so. <laughs> I got something grippier while Devin eats more snacks. Oh, sweet. I mean, smart sweets. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. Okay, I finally got it open. Sour melon. Mmm. It tastes like the hubba bubba watermelon gum. Oh, not what I was expecting. Mmm. They're good. Pretty sour. I mean, I'm not very tough when it comes to sour stuff, but <laughs> now, I like it. I will say smart sweets are like ridiculously expensive for the amount you get. So like they are a once in a while thing, but I do find a lot of their stuff really good. Yeah. Like for the price... I don't know that I would go out of my way to try these again, but they're still really good. Yeah. I got my queso open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to try it with a spoon because that's how people eat queso, right? Sure. Okay. I will say, even when I smelt it, the first thing I get, it tastes like roasted peppers, like roasted red pepper or something like that, which peppers are in it. I think that's oh. like a big base. So like the ingredients say yellow onion, sweet pepper. And then all the, like, flavor stuff. So I think pepper is the main base. And you really taste it. Um, not that it's a bad thing. It just tastes more like a roasted red pepper cheesy sauce than a queso. Oh, okay. But it's pretty good. It's got, like, the Do same kind of vibe as a queso because, like, the spice is there. It hits you right at the end when queso spice normally does. All that kind of stuff. But it just tastes like peppers. <laughs> Ooh. Cilantro lime oh, rice. Yeah. Another thing you can't try now, but I have been so curious about the rice. I need to send it to you. Yeah, it's a blend of lentils, chickpeas, peas, and rice. Yeah, so I've been like 100% influenced. So many vegan influencers use this product. I'm pretty sure Caitlin from from my bowl has used this product a bunch of times, and I've been so curious about it because it's so interesting. Like I've tried things that are like mimicking rice that aren't rice, but usually it's like. A sea vegetable base and like I find those okay they're not amazing but I'm very curious about these oh there's one more thing oh I feel I'm trying to remember the other thing did I send you a second oh. flavor yeah yeah I couldn't decide <laughs> I'm so glad you sent me this one too <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't break when it fell which what's the flavor again I don't remember what it was it it's oats and cream so this one is mu muala? Yeah, I think so. And so it's a combination of oats, almonds, and coconut cream. Yeah, I saw that. I couldn't decide. And I was like, I've never seen this brand before. But I've started seeing it pop up on, like, influencers' feeds. So I was like, I think Devin should try this. <laughs> well, I, I didn't realize neither of them have any sugar added to them. Really? Yeah. How does the marshmallow one taste like marshmallows? I don't know. No sugar. I Okay, I am very excited for your review of these. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting indeed. Okay, so Kat, which, which snack was your favorite? Oh gosh. The uh, really futuristic packaging ones, the Nova Crisps grain-free cassava white cheddar. Just because I think they tasted the most like what I was hoping them to taste like of okay. all the stuff that we got. Like the buffalo cauliflower was great. So good would buy again i didn't hate anything to be honest but this is probably my favorite because it like pr it delivered on what it promised the most of anything i'm torn like i think these would be a top one just because i really like mango stuff and then i feel like it might be a tie between um these two all right just because of like texture so good and flavor good yeah I really want to try those fiery, lesser evil ones. I might need to just do a snack order for myself as well. 
I think I won't be able to eat them all very quickly because they'll be too hot. <laughs> okay, we hope you enjoyed this snack haul. Once again, we highly recommend sending your friend a surprise box of snacks because this is so fun to get in the mail. And let us know in the comments which of these snacks you've either tried or are most curious to try and if you have any other snack recommendations from Nature Market or other sites that we should order snacks from, let us know. Yeah, I think I have a couple more. I don't remember the names, but I think I have a couple more that we can order from. So Great. Even more suggestions. They have to ship to Canada and there has to be free shipping at some point. <laughs> yeah, at some point. <laughs> this is how we do things. We buy just enough food to get us free shipping on these products. <laughs> exactly. All right, and that's gonna be it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos and give it a thumbs up, comment, share it, and snacks for all. Snacks for all. Snacks for life. I really feel like I went through their entire list of vegan products and there's some of these that I don't remember seeing at all. Bosco, don't eat the sandwiches. Mommy's eating the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he get back up on the counter? <laughs> They're on the table. <laughs> Bosco is getting bold. Ugh, what a bold guy. He's just like going for him. I mean, on the table, he goes on there a lot, so I'm not surprised. <laughs>